has, uh, I'm going to have some people come up and do some juicing too. Who here has not juiced before? All right, we got, are you guys, you guys juiced before? One, two, three. Who's not juiced before? Okay. I'll do it first, you don't feel weird. And, uh, but then some people are going to need to do some juicing here. So, pretty easy. Not, not very difficult then. So you put these in. I could probably put, I could probably put, you can put as many carrots in here as will fit in there and it'll take them all down. They're, they go down very easily there. Um, all you need is just light, steady pressure. And it'll go down. All right. Now, oh, I did mention a plastic bag. If you're like a, if you want to limit your cleanup time or your heat freak, you can put that plastic bag in there and you kind of clear out. Um, that'll be where most of the stuff sits and gets sticky and take you the longest to scrub up. So um, that's a good way to do that. And it shoots out there. I didn't know. That one says if you peel it for three times. The carrots, it shoots out there. But when I do the carrot, I tilt it so it doesn't spray everywhere. That's what it's called. The carrot's that hard. I think it's this table lets it, the vibration, it lets it get some type of momentum and shoot that table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the pulp's going to come out down in there. Um, there are some old school juices where the pulp stays inside the thing and then you have to open it up and clean them out. My parents had an old one like that from, I remember when I was little. Uh, don't get one of those, I don't even know if they make it. The government might have banned them and you're criminal if you do that. Okay. So, so you that's were raised on juicing. Was that? You were raised on juicing. Uh, a little bit. We we always had a garden. We did all that stuff. And actually, it's something I kind of thought about talking about. But I'm passionate about food. I, I actually grew up. We we had a, a very big garden, and we actually sold berries and primarily berries, and occasionally some other food. But we sold stuff. So I've been since I've been old enough to walk. I've been out there planting stuff and weeding stuff and mulching stuff and picking stuff. And um, so it's been part of my life, and I'm really passionate about food. Um, I, I really would encourage people to grow some of their own food, even if it's a little bit. Um, grow your own. Yeah, it, it'll be it'll be good to <laughs> do that. I think we got a little less than 32 ounces, so that's actually less than I might need to fill myself up. Where are we at there? We're at about 24, so let's go a little bit more on this. One. Now, I'm not not doing this tonight with the carrots. Notice I didn't cut the carrots. I didn't peel the carrots, I didn't do anything with the carrots. Um, that's how I do it. The, the peel does have a little bit of a bitter flavor to it versus if you peel them. So if you want to make your kids juice or if you're a person who it's not really a time issue, it's a taste issue, then peel the stuff. It'll taste nice nice and sweet. There's a definite taste change. I don't really care. It's good for me. I just throw it down the hatch and we're off to the races as far as that goes. There. So for kids, this is how I sneak in their probiotics, their drops of vitamin D, right? So they, my kids get a cup of juice every morning. That's how they start their day. You put some probiotics in there. You put some vitamin D in there. They know they're good. Yeah. So when you take the skin off of the carrot, you mean it's not as sweet, or it is sweeter? It's sweeter. Yeah. 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 So okay. that, that's very true. Now we need a little, actually I can use one of these guys here. So power that down for a minute. And then what we're going to do is give everybody hopefully about half of one of these little cups here to, uh, to taste. And uh, it'll be good. I'm excited. I think there's some people out there who might be a little nervous right now, but <laughs> um, don't need to be. Let's maybe line, we'll start with Let's line a bunch of those babies up here and we'll just go down the road. You know? Way. And uh, mm -hmm. do the If you're an old partier, you can even put them in here and do the mouth. <laughs> 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 you're like you're the coolest. Yeah. You're know, like used to, people used to do beer pong. Come to work tonight. We do juice pong. Is that like a jelly shot? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. We make our own juice. I don't even know what a what a jello shot is, but I do know the juice popsicle is. Put those in the freezer. Yeah, you can take these and pour this right from here into those popsicle makers, and your kids love them. They don't. You don't have to give them dye. You don't have to give them all the junk. We'll start passing these out, maybe. 
pups, like, you know, like do apple and pineapple and things like that, you make great pups. 21. Okay, so anybody who enjoys counting, uh, when we have enough cups, you say, I'll start getting the stuff. Why did I start with this one? This is a real basic one. Carrot is, while you might not think of carrots as sweet, the juice is very sweet. Um, I don't presume that maybe everybody this is our food. will mm -hmm. taste as many things as I do and say it's okay. But uh, carrots are very sweet. The celery is a mild flavor. This is a good combination. Anybody who's ever heard about juicing, you've probably heard about carrot juice. Um, it's just very good. So you have enough for everybody there. This in the morning. This is a little apple. Very good. Okay, I believe it. Yeah, Paul, you want to grab these? Yeah. Mm. Sort of thick side. It's not very good. Yeah, it's not, it's not watery. There, there is some some of that all that soluble fiber and stuff in there. If we let this sit, you'd actually see some of that separate out. Did you guys pass those down? Could you do that for me? Do we need any more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think I think we need a few more. Janie needs one, Amy needs one, Jamie needs one. Janie, Jamie, and Amy. Right on here then. Hey Mike. So if you make this, how long does it last? I and mean, how long can you keep it? Um, I, I have kept them. Um, the sooner the better. It will taste will okay for up to about a week. Yeah. All right. Um, it'll taste different. But it'll be okay for up to a week. But you're going to lose a tremendous amount of enzyme activity and some of the vitamins within the first couple of days. So I wouldn't really suggest that. But if it's such a convenience factor for you, like I used to just juice once a week and I'd make several quarts and I keep it in there and I'd do it. Now I just I just do it every day. But um, you know, so you can do that. But you're going to be losing some of the act beneficial activity. In there. You can juice in less than ten minutes, and that includes cleanup. Every day, no problem. Right? We juice for two adults and three kids every morning of our life, and we juice it, have it cleaned up in, in ten minutes. That is, yeah, is that so an exaggeration. If, if this was you, how long did it take us to do that? Took a couple minutes. We take the thing apart. We rinse it. I mean, out. literally, all you do is rinse, rinse the thing off. Yeah. You know? it's yeah. A, and you can even put it in the dishwasher, not the motor, but everything else <laughs> put in the dishwasher. Um, so I mean, realistically, yeah, I mean, you can do it fast. If you're gonna if you're gonna rinse the vegetables or you're gonna soak them or scrub them, you need to add a few minutes to that. I think it's worth it. I do that myself. Um, so you know you can balance some of that stuff out there, but it's not a long process to, to make a round of juice there. And the cleanup's about about three minutes. To disassemble, rinse, put it in the dish drainer. That's what about what it takes me. I would say. All right. So anybody not like that? It's so okay. If you didn't like it, you can say I didn't. Mark, you weren't real keen on the celery like last celery. time. Yeah, Mark, Mark liked that last <laughs> juicy one. And he, he just isn't a big celery fan. So, you know, he can do something else in there. Celery celery is a great thing. You'll learn to like it as you eat it. Um, seriously, it's uh, it's such an alkalizing type of a herb that if you can even put a little bit in it with other stuff, it's a good one to do. All right? Try it with peanut butter. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we do almond butter. Just because we're on tape. <laughs> okay. And I can tell you why not peanut butter, but that's not tonight's topic. <laughs>